Hey, how are you doing? It's Mr. Clifford. This is ACDC Econ. We're talking about interest rates. All right, first question for you. If the interest rate was 50%, is that good or is that bad? Well, it depends. Are you borrowing that money or are you lending it out? If you're borrowing it, it's a bad thing. If you're loaning out money, you're lending out money to somebody and they're going to pay you back the money plus another 50%, that's actually a good thing. It also depends on inflation. What if I told you I'm going to pay you 500% interest on a loan? So you give me money and I'll give you back that money plus another 500% on top of it. You're thinking, yes, awesome. What if prices actually go up 10,000%, right? To explain this concept, let's think of you as actually lending money to somebody. Your actual return, the rate of your real return, your real interest rate, it's going to be the nominal rate you charge them. So let's say you charge them 10%, but at the same time, prices go up 5%. So your actual real interest rate, the actual money you're getting back in purchasing power, is only 5%. Now, if you understand this idea, you understand why banks have to charge an interest rate. Right? Banks have a charge interest rate because if they didn't, inflation would actually hurt them. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is it expected inflation, not just inflation? When a bank tries to figure out its real interest rate, well, they don't really know what's going to happen to prices. They just expect prices to do something. And that could lead to something called unanticipated or unexpected inflation. Right? When the prices go up different than what people thought, that means either the bank or the borrower, someone's going to lose out. Okay, what I have for you is the inflation rate, the nominal interest rate, and the real interest rate. In each one, you're solving for a different thing. So this one, I want to know the real interest rate. This one, I want to know the inflation rate. This one, the nominal interest rate. All right, so fill this thing out, and we'll go over it. Good luck. All right, you ready? Here we go. If you charge someone 8% interest, and over that period of time, inflation has actually gone up 10%, you're getting paid back in money, but that money is actually less purchasing power. So it's actually negative 2% real interest rate. What's the inflation rate if the nominal interest rate is 10 and your actual real return is 5%? Right? Well, you lent out money to somebody, you were going to get a 10% return, but it actually only being a 5% return, that must have meant the prices went up 5%. You lent out money to somebody for a certain rate and prices have gone up 7%. The result is your actual real interest rate ended up being only negative 2%. The question is, how much is that nominal rate? The answer, 5%. Alright, hopefully that makes sense. Till next time.